Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let us discuss about the diagnosis of Almeyer disease using EEG signals. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So the EEG is an electro-psychological monitoring method to record electrical activity of the brain. So the EEG measures voltage uh, fluctuation resulting from iconic current within the neurons of the brain. So in clinical context, EEG refers to the recording of the brain's spontaneous electrical activity over a period of time. So as recorded from multiple electrodes placed on the scalp, EEG is most often used to diagnose LPDs which uh, causes abnormalities in the EEG readings. And also it is uh, used to diagnose sprees, disorders, uh, coma, in encyclography and brain death also. So EEG used to be a first line method of diagnosis for tumor, strokes and other focal brain disorders. But this use of cast decreased with the uh, advent of high uh, resolution anatomical, so imaging techniques such as a magnetic resonance imaging, so that is a MRI and computer tomography CT. So derivatives of the EEG techniques included evoked potential which involve uh, Averaging the EEG activity time lock to the presentation of the stimulus of uh, some sort and also visual stationary of the auditory. So in this proposed work, Alamia disease is one of the most common and uh, growing numerological disease in the world. So several brain marks to exist the diagnosis and disease pregnancy of Alamia disease which can be assumed as a key issues of clinical applications. The, uh, so the EEG signals else out powerful and uh, relatively cheap tool of diagnosis of different neurological design. So the need is in this case to improve the diagnosis accuracy of the EEG signal. So in this proposed work, a new methodology of diagnosis of alamia disease using the EEG signal is proposed. So that by increasing the diagnosis accuracy of EEG signal and the diagnosis. So several features of EEG signal such as uh, um, spectral features, coherence features and uh, EEG spectral temporal modulation, energy based features are described in detail. So from the above discussed features available in the EEG signal, it is concluded that uh, EEG can play an important role of diagnosis, uh, dominitia and allergy disease of the process. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So this is the overall flow diagram of the process. So the data set of EEG signal. Uh, data set of EEG signals has been taken. So select the input signal from the data set. Electroencyclography is an electrocyclological monitoring method to record electrical activity of the brain. So first of all, we take the input signal. It includes the uh, basics of the EEG, whatever it may be, the uh, EEG signal will be calculated. And the noise filtering. In the noise filtering here, we are using the Butterworth filter to denoise the signal. So it includes the noise removal for from raw EEG signal, basically pre-processing of uh, EEG signal involves amplification filtering of signal and after removal. So to obtain more enhancement EEG signal various techniques. So that is called a blind source separation. So in the BSS concept, uh, to obtain the more enhanced EEG signal various techniques are such as a BSS and also a independent uh, component analysis that is ICA and then time frequency representation. It will be calculated by time frequency representation. Finally calculating the feature extraction. So in the feature extraction process we extract the feature by using the mean standard deviation and entropy value of the process and then classification. So um, in the classification process we can implement the SVM classifier. So that is a uh, support vector machine uh, to identify the signal as normal or abnormal. So I mean uh, it will be take a disease or non disease. So uh, support vector machines are based on the concept of decision planes. So uh, define the decision boundaries. A decision plane is one of the separates between a set of objects having a different number of membership. So that is uh, using by the classifier and then finally getting the output. So the ironing output, it will be a signal as it will be normal or it has any indices. So that will be calculated. So normal or abnormal signal are presented. So what it may be. So it, uh, the uh, classifier should be output. Finally, calculate the brain tumor or EEG signal. It should be a normal signal or it, in case it can have a normal signal. So the data set is must. So the data set of EEG signal, the input signal, and then the input signal of the processing. And the pre-processing here we are using the EEG signal so that is a Butterworth filter to remove the noise and then blind source suppression so that is a LL, LL, HL and HL and HL so these are the basic concepts of the Butterworth and uh, noise filtering of the process and then feature extraction to calculating the feature extraction means standard device and then um, particularly we calculating the uh, analysis of the process and, and also uh, calculating the entropy value so these are the overall flow diagram of the process. Yeah, let us discuss about the running procedure for the product. So click the main fan file and then run. So it will be designed and will be designed for the guide design of the process. So it's it's taken some time to display. So that is a guide design of the process. 
so this is the classification of alamia disease using the eeg signal of the process so first of all click the select button select the signal so it should be select the enter the number of signal whatever it may be i will choose 15 so enter the signal as 15 so this is the 15th input signal i mean uh, it will be 15th patient also it will be detected so whatever it may be there are number of signals i will select the 15th patient eeg signal and then this is the input signal it will be displayed and then pre-processing so in the pre-processing step here we using the butterworth filter so butterworth filter the value should be applied so it should be remove the noise and the peak detector for a basic example in the select the input signal i will select the 15 so this is the input signal it will be the peak is a uh, different variation and it's also a noise also will be displayed so in the pre-processing step it will be reduce the noise so reduce the noise and the peak will be correctly display so only we getting the uh, signal should be normal or abnormal and then features so in the feature we can calculate the mean standard deviation and then um, entropy value should be calculated to extract the feature of the process so all the values that mean be uh, wavelength signals like uh, ll lh hl and hs so th all the values should be displayed so these are the different types of values so this is the wavelength feature so up to this uh, for example mm, yeah so or lh uh, and then LL value so and then HL and then HS value so all the values it will be displayed by the LL, LH, HL and HS of the process so this is the feature extraction of the process and then test features so these are the test features value so it uh, it, uh, it will be calculated like uh, test features uh, particular of the input signal so these are the different test values so only we classify the signal it should be uh, normal or abnormal of the process so the, the test feature is important to calculate the signal it should be normal or in the abnormal condition and finally classification the classification process the uh, signal it should be normal signal or abnormal signal so i will calculate the signal as normal so the, that is a no problem in the easy signal pipe so i will calculate the signal it should be normal of the signal so and then click ok so the finally performance analysis so the, this is a performance analysis so this is a number of signals how many signals are presented and then the, these are snr value signal to noise ratio how many values are presented so i i will exist so all the processes will be exit so and then i will generate for abnormal signal so i will uh, uh, again i will select the signal for uh, select the signal number i will uh, select particular 20 so this is about 20 dm signal this is the same process a similar process will be obtained and then pre-processing the signal by using the butterworth filter and then features so features value are display ll lh and hl and hs so all the values are displayed like uh, what whatever it may be so this is for ll and lh and then other values so other, all the values are be calculated by using the extractive number features so this and then uh, finally it will be calculated the test features also so whatever the input signal we will and the test feature will be displayed so the test feature is the it's checked as sometimes so this is the test feature for the 20 the easy signal and then classification so the signal should be normal or abnormal i will click the signal should be abnormal signal so this is the classification process by using the svm classifier so finally i get the performance analysis so performance analysis is the number of gas signals and then snr value so these are the overall running procedure for the process thank you for listening this video